Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a, a walkthrough of the Tectoral workbench in FreeCAD 019. And uh, you know, first thing is I'm I'm not a uh, drafter, so I don't know the you know the exact rules for all this stuff, but I'll do the best I can for you. And uh, this, you know, I've been using this since uh, probably 0.17, or or whenever it first came out, and, um, and they got off the drawing workbench. But this is getting really good. Uh, my hat's off to York. He's do, I think he's the the head developer on this piece, and uh, and and of course many others. Uh, he's, it, you know, this is getting really uh, very full featured a, in many ways. So um, what we'll do is we'll start out by getting into FreeCAD and uh, taking a, and moving into the workbench. So I have, let me bring it over into the window here. That was just a PDF of this. So let me first tell you some of the features that I'm going to cover, and then we'll then we'll work through them. Um, one of the features I'm not going to, I'll talk about at the end is is this guy right here. This is called Active View, and it does a render drawing. And you can see there's some issues with it right now, but uh, I imagine that'll get. I, th I think these are normals that are facing the wrong way, is my guess. Um, and there's probably a way to fix them in my drawing. Uh, but I'm just going to delete that for now because that takes a lot of resources to draw that. So we'll just focus on on this, you know, the uh, the regular drawing stuff. And I'll show you how to add a, this view with uh, with accurate uh, dimensions. Um, and we'll do some of the different views, dimensions, a detail, and a section. So um, I, I picked the uh, the Lego brick because it's uh, you know real simple and you know doesn't uh, doesn't add complexity to the whole thing. So um, so let me close off this page. I'm just going to delete the whole page, and uh, and I'm going to save it uh, save it as something else so I don't get rid of that work. And we'll get started. Oops, I got a bunch of extra stuff here. And yeah, and you can actually see when it gets highlighted. Let's see if I can get it to do it. You can see the normals there as well. So it's the same same normals that are a problem in the in the drawing. So I'm sure uh, I'm sure there's a way to deal with those. So let's start out by adding adding a tech page, um, tech draw page, and and you do that just for, well. Of course, you first have to get to your workbench, and then you do that by adding clicking on the drawing page, and that gives you a couple of things. That gives you the page and the template. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to get rid of the grid just just so there's less to look at for us. And you can pick your different templates here. And if you click on the ellipsis, you get the ones that, to choose from. And these are getting more and more. I'm just going to pick U.S. letter blank because um, that's where I am, and they'll print out nicer for me. So uh, just as it's always been, to add something to the tech draw, you uh, you you um, just click on the item you want to add, and then you pick on click the tool that you want to add it with. So I'm going to insert just a view and let's take a look at what that looks like. So what it does is it inserts the view as it's presented on, oh, I stand corrected. That's uh, that's a new one for me. So let's, let me delete that and let's try again. So I'm going to try to recenter, re, uh, recenter the view. Let me zoom it. Now let's try it again and see if that does that again. So it's something new. Yeah. So I don't know why I did that, but I don't care. So, um, like I said, as I'm not a, uh, I, I, by no means an expert or even very educated on these drawings, uh, what I like to do, and I, you know, I'm just using them for myself, so I don't care what anybody else wants. I want what I want. I like, I like the, them a little bit bigger. Um, maybe it's because my eyesight's starting to go. And uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a top view, uh, an end view, and a bottom view. So. You can just do these all at once, and you just buy, you know, just we're going to set the top view, and just click it, and then I'm going to get the side view, and click the view, see see how it's adding it, and then I'm going to get the bottom view, and just add that. So I should have all my views in the page already, and let's get them unstacked, uh, and no. So I think there's a redraw issue, let's, let's try this again. So let's... Uh, Let's get the display updated. Let's pick it and try it again. There we go. So that's our bottom. So there's some some. Uh, oh, I think it might have been because I might have turned off. There's a there's a setting. Toggle keep up. Yeah, keep updated. We want I want that to true. I think. Nope. Not sure. So you can turn the keep updated off if you're getting copy if you're you know if it's intensively 
computational, you're going to uh, come to a grinding halt. So let's try a side again. And there we go. Come on. Okay, so now we'll, I'm going to click on, click on it. And let's try it one more time. Maybe it, uh, yeah, good. So, and, and this is good for some reason it's upside down. I don't know why. Probably, probably my draw, uh, drawing is upside down. But that's okay because we can do an easy rotation. Um, there's no grab for the rotation. And I'm not going to uh, scale these at all, I don't think, because I think it'll help with the lesson or the, the drawing. And so let's go, just go through a couple of things first. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is a dimension on this line. So you select the line. Let's see if I can select it. Uh, first, try it again. All right, so green means selected, and I'm going to do the drawing there. So that's your standard brick size. We'll do the horizontal one too. Okay, you know, very straightforward, nothing, nothing special there. Then I'm going to do between the centers on these pegs. So I'm going to select the uh, center, and then I, you have to select the control key to get multiple selections and click it like that. And now I'm going to do from the center of the peg to the corner. And the same thing. We're just going to leave the default settings for all the different for all the different arrows, except I do want to show you a few things. So before I go on to the radii, let me show you this uh, a feature of the dimension, which I really this I believe this is new, um, but I really love it. Is you can pick two different things: rendering extent and and the standard style, standard end style. So um, rendering uh, extent is just basically you know uh, I think how many the lines uh, let's say or so uh, I I like the normal one I'll just leave the normal and then the standard and style gives you like uh, the ASME inline which I, I prefer that um, so it gives you kind of how it's formatted so uh, you know play with that to get what you like really really excited by that um, I've, that's what I've always wanted it like this and I, I was even playing with draft to do it myself for a while but I'm glad that it's done for you so the next thing I want to look at is the radius uh, uh, measurement uh, dimension <laughs> and um, I was disappointed because I was trying to work between this and 1 8 and I'm like oh no it's just lines and I, I like the little hook ones um, again I don't know what the standards are but you know I like what I like so I was pleasantly surprised to find that you can go in and you can change the style like this. So that's ASME inline, ASME referencing. So I like this one because um, I like to be able to, it look, just looks neater to me. So uh, that's something I'd like to do. Uh, I, you know, for these, I'd like it to you know, be able to have one for each and then both be horizontal, not on an angle, like the text be horizontal. So uh, for this one, let's do let's show the different measuring tools. So I'm going to pick these two uh, dots, and a tool's been added that's called I'll get it eventually. There it is. A tool's been added that's called uh, horizontal extent and vertical extent. Um, it doesn't seem to do anything different to me, but I'll just presume that it does. Uh, so I that's I did you know so it's the total vertical height. I mean you can see that I picked this one. Oh so there's there's differences. I just don't know what they are. Um, and then I'm going to do so horizontal extent for this one. I imagine it's maybe some of the uh, yeah. So the standards are the same, and the rendering extent's the same. Um, I'm going to pause because I think my furnace just turned on, and I don't know if you can hear that or not. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get back to it. The next thing. Um, oh boy. Yeah, so um, I'm using the the CAD navigation, but I'm used to Blender because um, my Blender one isn't working for some reason. So the next thing I want to do is <clears throat> I want to show you the section view. So I'm going to select the view, and then I'm going to pick the uh, selection tool, and it will insert the selection tool. But you have to pick pick which direction first. I want to pick looking left because that gives me what I want. Um, so that's you know it shows you it's down the middle. Uh, from the left yeah so unfortunately it's upside down again and that has to do again with my uh, excuse me again with my original drawing so um, we're just gonna put it in there and then rotate it so we got to get our data rotation and 180 
it should do it. And then there's our section view. So I like to uh, enlarge these like that. Um, and at the end, what I'll do is that's probably too big. At the end, what I'll do is I'll show you how to turn off the, uh, you know, the um, the view border and the uh, indicators, the point indicators. So that's how, that's how you can do a section view. And now let me show you um, the detail view. So for example, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna want dimensions on this first because that's not defined on the other side. So we'll do both of those. Okay, and we would. Oh, I guess I wouldn't need. All right, I guess I wouldn't need from there because that would be inferred as it's centered. All right, so let's do a detail view of one of these peg, uh, one of these uh, legs. I think they're called. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the view that we want to select the view, and we're going to do detail view, and it just it's it drops the view in the center, and you see this is the detail. And what we're going to do is we're going to move it. So I'm going to use anchor point, and it's X and Y uh, 2D. So I'm going to move it to the right on my drawing with X, and I'm just going to move that to 15. Or yeah, that's good. Um, and then I'm going to move this up to let's just say seven should be good. Or no, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of doing a peg on the top. So I'll do that there, and we'll move this to about there. That's good. So that kind of gives us a perspective of it. Um, let's make this big. Let's make this bigger because I don't know that makes sense to me. So I'm going to do zoom, or I'm going to do scale. Sorry. And so now it's a uh, nice visible size. Let's get rid of this guy so we can see what we're doing. And so I'm going to put radius on each one of these. So I'm going to pick that, and we'll do radius. And uh, so later on, I would change these to the style that I prefer, but I don't think we need to do that at this point. You saw me do it up on the other one. So now we have uh, you know a close-up view of the radius, and if I wanted to, we could probably you know put a drawing here for this this wall thickness if I can get it selected. So that would just be something like that. Okay, and then the last thing I want to do is uh, show you. A, a, uh, let me see. Um, uh, putting dimensions on a um, or, uh, what is it? Orthoscopic? No, <laughs> orthographic perspective. I don't know. I can't remember. So first we uh, put a distance measure it. So it's not distance x or distance y. It's just distance. Okay. Then you select that distance, and there's, there's a neat feature. So you'll notice this is wrong because it's 31.8, not 25.96. But uh, the wonderful programmers have fixed that for us. So what we can do is we can select link and we're gonna to link to a dimension in a 2D draw, 2D <laughs> in 3D geometry, I got there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that Let me go like this and it's, which one did I pick? I picked the long one, yep. So I'm gonna pick that line and then we'll hit link and it's gonna ask, it's gonna show you which ones are available. So the only one I used is this, that's the only just distance without X or Y, and uh, click OK. So now when we get go back to the page, we'll see uh, it hasn't changed, but that's OK. Or, nope, there it did change. You can also set it back and forth between, um, so if we pick that dimension, where'd it go? Uh, let's see, there, oh. So if we pick that dimension and go to its data, I think, um, we can change the measurement type to the projected measurement and then it goes to you know the the distance it's showing projected or we can go to I'm sorry we can go to oh, measure type theoretical false oh I was clicking the wrong one so we want to do type and we want to go nope measure type oh, that's a little bug there Oh no, I'm sorry. So it's true, true to the actual dimension, not true, true as in true false. That's funny. Um, okay, so that's that. Uh, you could also do. Oh, one thing I I think is kind of cool, but I haven't figured out how I want to do it. You can also do sections on something like this too, um, which gives you a very different kind of section. I don't know if that's useful or not, but I imagine you can do um, dimensions and and link them to the. 3D geometry, so you get more dimensions than a single drawing. 
But, you know, uh, I don't know if that's something, if that's sort of a standard way to do it or not. So the last thing I want to show you is, well, I think that's the last thing. Let's see, let's cancel that. Um, oh, and by the way, don't delete these without, delete them from here, because if you delete the, the section or the detail, uh, uh, no, so here's the, here's the, here's the thing. Uh, if you start with the detail and you're in the middle of the detail, all right, so you've got your taskbar, still not getting what I need, uh, section only, okay, section. So you do in the middle of a section, um, and if you hit apply, you get a, or no, you pick one, you get a section view. Don't delete from here. So this is selected. If you hit delete now, this dialog gets abandoned and, and, you're, and you, get, you have to close your program. So just pay attention to that. That's a little thing that's caught me a couple of times. Um, last things. Uh, oh, we got a couple of things like um, a call out uh, numbering. Um, oh, some of the cool new features are you can do rich text. So you can uh, do text that uh, is very, has a little bit more formatting. Not a lot, but a little bit more. So I could do 48 point. Like there's no, I don't think there's a way to pick the font yet. Um, but you can do, you know, some formatting and then you have to save it. If you don't save it, it doesn't go to here. And then when you click OK, the text is in your document and you can drag it around just like an object there. Uh, some of the other things which I can see as very useful is adding a midpoint. I know that I've needed this in the past. So if you select a line or whatever, you can add a midpoint and you see now it's got a place where you could measure from. Um, and then there's this is this is now the regular annotation. So let's try that real quick. Uh, one thing I liked about the old annotations is that, is that they had this hook bar too. So let me look to see if it has that. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. But that's okay. Um, I got two as well. Okay, so let's see what else. This is, oh, insert a center line. So just, I think that's for, uh, don't, I, I'm going to guess that's for a circle, but I don't have one that's, doesn't have, well, let's just try it right here, see what happens. Oh, so it's select. Add a center line of faces. Okay, there we go. So that I could definitely see that being useful. And that's for removing those. Oh, and this might be, let's see if uh, we can do this right in. I haven't tried these as much yet. So let's just try to change your color. Nope. So I'm guessing that's for lines drawn here. Um, oh, nope, there we go. So it just didn't didn't calculate yet. So nice, you get a lot more control over your drawing, um, a lot of great new features, and uh, I hope you give it a try and I hope you like it. Um, thanks to the developer, and I, get, I believe this was Yorick who, I think this is his project, uh, or one of his many within FreeCAD. So, um, well, if you like these videos, uh, make sure you subscribe and click the alarm bell to get updates, and I'll see you next video.